everybody, welcome back to a fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we're talking about buyer beware. We're talking about real estate fraud and some of the things that you can look out for if you're a consumer. Now I have a lot of realtors that are watching this and hopefully you're all ethical and, and you swear by your code of ethics with your national board and your, your local board. But I wanted to give some tips for consumers here. I get a lot of industry professionals that watch this video, but I would like to give some of the consumers out there uh, some, some tips you can look for to know if maybe the person you're dealing with as your real estate or your mortgage professional are trying to scam you if they're not uh, upstanding business professionals here in the community. So I got asked the other day when a client came in if they should give the deposit over to their realtor. Now I'm not talking about just giving the check to your realtor. This was an actual agent that asked the buyer to send them the deposit money and they would put the money in escrow. First of all, that is illegal unless you're putting it with the brokerage, the real estate brokerage if they have an escrow account. But if you have an agent, maybe you're doing some rentals, a lot of times we see that on rentals where the agent will take the uh, deposit from you because that's their commission and they wind up not reporting it or they wind up taking the money. We see these cases all of the time. So you never want to give your real estate agent the actual money for them, payable to them, deposited or cash into their account. You want to make sure you're either putting it with a settlement company like Independence Title, an escrow agent, maybe a real estate attorney, or the brokerage, the real estate brokerage themselves, sometimes they hold an escrow account and it's very, very important. The second tip I wanted to give you is if you have real estate agents that are using third-party email services like Gmail, AOL, Yahoo, Hotmail, those are some of the, the signs you want to watch out for because they're not secure. So I'm not saying that an agent can't use that. If that's what they use for their email platform, it can be used, but the issue is you want to be careful for uh, fraudulent information. Those email services can get hacked very easily. If they click on a video link or a hyperlink in an email that they may not realize, we see it happen all the time and it's escrow fraud. What will happen is then someone will hack that agent's email and they will start sending you as the buyer or the seller information to send money over and you think it's coming from your real estate agent. So it's very important. Do not send any money, transfer any money, forward anything until you verify with the agent on the phone that they actually sent you that email. We call and verify all wiring instructions verbally. And here's a tip. You want to call and verify them with the phone number that you have on record or look up that company, the real estate company online. Do not use the phone number that's in the email. They have an email signature and a lot of times they change that, that phone number and now you're calling the fraudster to verify that they sent that information. So it's very, very important. Never accept changes, alterations, modifications, or anything to financial data information via email. Always pick up the phone and call. Make sure. So if we as a title company send you a secured link for wiring instructions, you want to always call and verify with the office. The, the account number to make sure you're sending it to the proper person. It's very, very important. The other thing I wanted to talk about is always make sure, just like I tell you as a title company, you want to research that we're licensed, we're insured, we're, we're in good standing with our national underwriter. Maybe you go to our website and see some of the recommendations on Google or Facebook. You want to do the same thing with your real estate agent. Before you hire a professional to handle one of your largest investments, you want to check them out a little bit. Why don't you go to their website? Why don't you look them up on the Department of Real Estate, make sure their license is in good standing, maybe make sure they're a member of, of the National Association of, of Realtors or their local board as well. It means that they, they follow a code of ethics. It means that they've been trained in order to handle your largest investment. You do not want to do business with someone that just got their license, has never done a deal, they haven't joined the board, they're going to put you in jeopardy. Remember, in Florida, you don't need a real estate attorney to handle the actual closing or draft a real estate contract. The, the contract was drafted by the Florida realtors and, and attorneys, the Florida bar as well. And what happens is that real estate contract is fill in the blank. The same thing with a lot of the title documents, it's fill in the blank. So it may make you a little bit nervous, so you wanna make sure you're doing business with someone you know, you like, 
and you can trust. But you need to just do a little bit of research. Feel free to call our office. We can help guide you, maybe look them up for you and see if it's someone that, that they have some recommendations. They've been in business you know, for, for how long, you know, how long they've had their license, what company they're with, is it a reputable company? You don't want to do business with a fly-by-night company that could wind up convincing you to wire the deposit to them, and then before you know it, your money's gone, they're gone, and now your investment is not protected. In Independence Title, we always say we're here to protect your investment. We've got you covered, because if it's your largest investment, you want to make sure it's being handled by someone you know, like, and trust that's professional in the business. So I hope a consumer's watching this today and you learned something new. If you're a real estate agent or a mortgage professional and you're watching this, maybe forward this to your client. Give them a couple of tips. Hopefully you meet the requirements we talked about in the video, which I'm sure you do if you're taking the time to watch a video such as Title Tuesdays. So give me a comment below. I'd love to know a video maybe I could produce next week for you. I always love new topics to try and get videos that will add value to your business. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. Give me a thumbs up, a comment below. Maybe share it on Facebook or on YouTube or on Twitter. Share this video so others can see and hopefully learn something that will prevent them from being a victim of real estate fraud. Thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.